The ID matrix contains results for over 50 tests for each of 124 bacteria. Almost all results included are true and accurate, but some have been reimagined to allow all bacteria to be separated by our limited number of tests. ID matrices are the result of a tremendous amount of work with typically thousands of isolated bacteria being studied to see what their metabolic capabilities look like. All humans differ genetically to some level, but we are all one species. In the same way, there is not just one E. coli, but instead there are thousands of clinical isolates with minor variations that have been discovered and all classified as this one species. So two different isolates can both be E. coli and have some differences in the biochemical test results. Because of this variation within a species, an ID matrix often uses more than just positive or negative as possible results. In this matrix, these are the possible results and their meanings. The plus symbol means greater than or equal to 90% of isolates are positive for this trait. A plus sign in parentheses means that 75 to 89% of isolates are positive for this trait. A D means that 26 to 74% of isolates are positive for this trait. A minus in parentheses means that 11 to 25% of isolates are positive for this trait, and a minus symbol by itself means that less than or equal to 10% of isolates are positive for this trait. In the ID matrix, the only results that cause a microbe to be eliminated as a potential ID are those that are completely opposite from the entered test result. If you enter a result of positive for a test, all species with a result of negative for that test are eliminated. Enter a negative for that test, and all positives for that test are eliminated. What about results that are not a clear negative or positive? They remain in the matrix until eliminated by another test where positive and negative results are found. So how is the matrix used by a student to decide which test to do next? Think smart. When trying to identify a microbe, it makes no sense to choose a test where every microbe is positive or every microbe is negative because the test result does not eliminate any microbes or it eliminates them all. Not a good outcome. Likewise, it makes no sense to choose a test with lots of plus signs in parentheses, D, and minus signs in parentheses results because these do not contribute to eliminating microbes. You should choose a test where the remaining microbes have a good mix of positive and negative, so some will be eliminated no matter the result obtained. By the way, if you enter test results that end up in no possible organisms being left in the matrix, you have made a mistake. All microbes in this software can be identified uniquely when the tests are done accurately.